In this video, we'll go over some of the basics of bullet manipulation inside of Workflow. The first thing you need to know is how to create bullets. You might've already figured that out by pressing enter. You can create a new bullet like that. You could also press the little uh, plus icon to create a new bullet at that level. All right, so that's how you create bullets. Uh, next, you need to know how to indent them. So you just move your cursor to the bullet that you wanna indent, and then you hit tab on the keyboard, and that indents it, that nests it under the bullet that's on top. And to outdent, or to put them on the same level or bring it down one level, you hit tab shift. So tab to indent, tab shift to outdent. Next, once you've got some, some nested items, like we've got these items that are nested under this bullet here, uh, we've got this bullet right here that's nested under this item, we can expand or collapse them by clicking on the little triangle on the left-hand side of the bullet, just like that. But we can also use a keyboard shortcut. So on Windows, that is a Control plus up or down arrow, and on Mac, Command up or down arrow. So we navigate with our arrow keys to the bullet that we wanna collapse or expand. Let's say this one right here and I hit the keyboard shortcut, All right? If I press up, it collapses. If I press down, it expands. So we can very quickly expand and collapse the bullets without taking our hands off the keyboard. Next, if we wanna move bullets around, we can just click and drag the bullet. So I'll hover over it, click and drag, and I can move it anywhere I want. I could put it on the same level. I can indent them. I could do anything I want just by clicking and dragging. We can also, um, use the left-hand sidebar. So we open that up by clicking on the hamburger menu right here to open up the sidebar. And we've got the same uh, layout, basically. Uh, this is just an easy way to kind of navigate and move items around Workflow. That's what the left-hand sidebar is for. But we can also drag and drop items into it. So let's say that, you know, we're, we're just gonna create this like that. Let's say we're all the way down here and we wanna move this bullet that says like that right below the, the second bullet, which is here's an important thing. So one easy way to do that is to use this part of the, you uh, use the left hand, the right hand side to navigate to the bullet that we want to move. And then in the left hand sidebar, open up the destination. So where we want to drop the thing and then just click drag and drop. And so now we moved it under the, the first bullet. If we go home, you can see that it's right here, right? So an easy way to move bullets long distances in Workflow is to open up the destination in the left-hand sidebar, and then in the right-hand side, navigate to the thing that you want to move. And you could also even uh, star the destination to make it easier. So let's say we want to move something uh, all the way down here. Uh, we could just start using a little star icon in the menu bar. That's going to add it right here in the sidebar. And then we can navigate to, to the, the bullet that we want to move. Let's say it's down here. We want to move this one like that there. Now, since we've got it starred right here, it's much easier to access. Just drag and drop it right there. And we moved it into the, uh, into the bullet. So a nice tip for you right there to use the, uh, to star uh, pages that you want uh, to use as destinations. So you can quickly drag and drop items into places that you might be moving things into constantly. Um, next, let me show you some keyboard shortcuts for moving bullets around because that's a lot easier than dragging and dropping them. On Windows, that is Alt Shift plus any of the four arrows. On Mac, that is Control Shift plus any of the four arrows. So we just navigate to the bullet we want to move with our with our arrow keys. Then we hit the keyboard shortcut depending on what operating system you're on, and then you can move items. Uh, you can actually indent and outdent items by hitting the left and right arrow, and you can move items up and down right? You could also select multiple items. So if you hold, like, let's say I want to grab these two items right here, I can hold shift and then press down arrow to select multiple items. I press twice to select uh, several, several items. Once I've got them highlighted, I can use the same keyboard shortcut to move that entire section around, right? I can outdent it, indent it, move it around. Super simple. You can also use the, the mouse if you want to select multiple items. You don't have to use the keyboard shortcut if you don't want to. And then hit the keyboard shortcut to just move them around. So next, let me show you how to delete items. You can also, you, you can actually use the, um, the bullet menu to delete items. The way we open up the bullet menu is to click on the three little dots on the left-hand side of any bullet. That opens up the bullet menu. And way down here, we've got the delete option. And we've also got the keyboard shortcut. I'm on Mac, so that's why it's showing the keyboard shortcut for Mac, but if you're on Windows, it'll show the keyboard shortcut for Windows. So that's one way to do that. You can press that, or we'll hit the keyboard shortcut that was there. 
which on Windows is Control Shift Backspace, and on Mac that's Command Shift Delete. So one important thing to know is that when you delete a bullet, you'll also delete all the content that's nested inside of it. For example, everything right here is nested in this bullet here. If I delete this bullet, I'll obviously delete everything, including the stuff that's nested inside. And uh, one final tip I do want to leave you with is, let's say we've got, let me just nest these items like here. We'll add some more just very quickly. Okay. Now to quickly uh, collapse everything, instead of having to do this kind of a thing, you know, either clicking on the arrow or using uh, the keyboard shortcut, what we can do is go to the main bullet that contains all of them. So in this case, let's say it's this one right here and double click on the little triangle. If, if it's open like this, we'll double click it. And now if we open them, you'll see that everything has been collapsed, right? And to open everything up, let me go ahead and actually close everything again. There we go. To open everything, we just double click the little triangle again, and that'll expand everything. So an easy way to expand everything or collapse everything. So double click the little triangle. And that's basically all you need to know about bullet manipulation inside Workflow. -y. To see keyboard shortcuts for the things we covered in this video, plus a bunch of other stuff, be sure to hit control question mark on Windows or command question mark on Mac.